Okay, so you've seen our NAS video and that NAS was a significant upgrade for our operations here at the shop. And today we're going to be making another significant upgrade and that is our whole network infrastructure. We're going to be replacing our switches, our network cables, our connections, and basically improve our lives here at the shop for the better. So waka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found a love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com so this is a sort of video documentation of our ongoing upgrades here at the shop. And by doing this, yun nga, we can document it. And maybe also you can get a few tips, a few ideas on how to upgrade your network at your home or at your office. So here's for us to discuss what we're going to be doing. Okay, so today, mag upgrade tayo ng aming uh, network infrastructure. Kasi, well, our previous in infrastructure was running on 100 meg lang, hindi siya fully gigabit. Only the main router is running on gigabit and the rest of the switches are running on 100 meg. So, ngayon na dumadami na yung aming um, sinaservice, and we, we need more bandwidth for each. So, nag-upgrade kami to uh, 8 port gigabit network switches. Unmanaged lang kasi we don't need actually to manage. So, uh, we got 8-bit uh, switches kasi we have a lot of cables running uh, throughout the shop. So, Speaking of cables, we've also purchased uh, a lot of different lengths. Meron kaming 20 meters, 10 meters, 5 meters, and a couple of 2 and 3 meters for the actual benches. These cables will be running sa aming ceiling para sa other corners of the shops. You might be wondering, um, bakit natin kailangan ng cables? Kasi sa dami ng uh, devices na nandito sa shop at a time, if we keep it running on Wi-Fi. A lot of interference na yun. And meron din kaming mga, sa mga sarili naming station, meron kaming mga wireless headsets, wireless mice. And we also primarily use a NAS for our um, tools, our software na pinang de-debug namin, pinang uh, ta-troubleshoot, pinang be-benchmark. And once a lot of the uh, computers are accessing the NAS at the same time, doon na nagkakaroon ng bottleneck sa network namin. So, Bottleneck na yun is kasi uh, ang network namin ay 100 megabit. So, 100 megabit lang yung limit ng, kunwari, mag-access ka ng files or maglalagay ka ng files sa NAS. So, 100 bit lang. So, sa dami ng devices yun, mabilis masaturate yung 100 megabit uh, with how fast SSDs are today. So, yun. Important na gigabit para mas malaki yung bandwidth. Ang effect doon, uh, number one, kaya namin na mas maraming devices na nag-access na hindi naapektuhan yung performance. For example, maglo-load ka lang ng Cinebench. Minsan, umabot sa amin ng 3 minutes eh, just for loading si bench. So, yun, faster load times. Um, pag kailangan namin mag-pull ng drivers para mag-install, drivers are notoriously large in file size. So, madali siya mag-copy-paste para mag-install. Mas mabilis, kahit sabay-sabay pa yun. Um, minsan, nagsa-store kami ng files, videos, or images sa NAS namin, which, has, which are also notoriously large. Madali talaga ma-saturate yung... 100 megabit. May mga games kami minsan, pag downtime namin, naglalaro kami, lahat kami na-access namin sa NAS. So, yun. <laughs> downtime lang yun. Alright, so uh, sa first upgrade, um, sa main router kasi namin, isa lang yung gigabit port. So, we need a switch to expand um, the ports ng main router. That's why uh, we got two of these. One is to be put beside the main router kasi ngayon, single lang yung gigabit port. Then, another one, uh, dito sa aming workstation, work area. Kasi dito, like, up to five, five or six computers at a time kaya. 
So we need a, a minimum eight part dito sa ilalim. Uh, so we will be bridging these two um, switches with one of our cables para para extended network lang siya. First, uh, upgrade namin yung uh, cable na running from the router to the primary switch which is by the NAS. Then we will use a longer cable to connect that switch to the, uh, our workstation here. So far gumagana lahat to. Ibig sabihin gumagana lahat ng from our switch here to every system. Sa from the switch here to the switch there. Alright. So at least yun, alam natin gumagana. Well, in addition to the ano, local network na gigabit na siya. Yung internet kasi namin more than 100 meg which is hindi nagagamit dati. So at least ngayon, nagagamit na siya. Netest natin. Oof. There we go. Get a view. Get the gullet. Kanta lang yan. Luma natin. Capped at 100 meg. Uwi na tayo. So with all of that set up, was the upgrade worth it? Well, the setup was very straightforward. There wasn't any additional software configuration that was required. It was basically plug and play. And the hardest thing basically was just running the cables up from the ceiling to our workstations here at the other side of the office. But basically, it was just plug and play. And all of us here can now experience gigabit speeds. Most importantly, of course, is the workstation at the center. So we can now have five service computers able to access our network via LAN. And there are two spare slots. Speed-wise, everything is great, everything works. But the most important thing here is the stability. As mentioned, we also swapped out the cables and we also did get gigabit couplers. So basically, everything in the network is brand new. Except, of course, for the router, which brings us to the next segment of this. Where can we go from this? So this whole network upgrade thing started with the NAS. So we now have a brand new, albeit basic, 
network infrastructure here. And I guess to further improve or enhance the network situation here, we can of course go for a stronger and a more feature-filled router. As great as our switches are, we're still using the basic router from our ISP. And basically, that ISP did not give us any control whatsoever for the network. So yeah, I guess that's it. That's a, it's a very simple process, but the results are fantastic. And all of us here at the shop will benefit from this, as well, of course, our customers who will have their PC serviced by us. So you might be wondering, why would our customers be using our network? Well, if you did not know, we do service computers here. We build computers and we also repair them. And most of the time, that entails updating their software and also installing stress test software. So as simple as that sounds, that is sometimes a major bottleneck as our techs are ready to service the computer. Of course, they have no choice but to wait until the downloads and the installation and the file transfer are complete. And finally, how do you benefit from this video? Well, if you're a customer who's interested for a build or interested for a repair or anything here at Hardware Sugar, you can expect faster... <laughs> May expect ba nila yun? Faster na ano? <laughs> completion. <laughs> Kasi mas mabilis lang internet. <laughs> you can expect slightly faster completion times. Or if you're interested in your own network solution, you can tell in this video that it is a very straightforward process. There's not a lot of technical know-how or, or expert networking knowledge that was required to do this thing. And overall, the upgrade cost-wise is very low. I guess what we want to impress to you is that network upgrades need not to be as scary as they look. They're not as costly to make either. But you just have to be aware that there are budget options for network solutions out there depending on your needs. Thank you for watching.